Hi everyone. I had an interesting question today about how to convert an in-text form into something uh, like a document that they want to store in a document library or send it off in an email or something like that. So it got me thinking that one way I could do this is actually pull some information out and dump it into like an HTML document, so an HTML file. So what I started doing is I created a very simple list and you can see the list right here, there's a title field, there's a country, and there's a population. Now then what I did is actually created a in-text form. So I'll click on in-text forms and bring up the form designer. I didn't make any change to the form designer, I just left it as is, and I simply published it. Now what I did is create a new item in the list. Let's call it second test. We'll pick Australia and we'll say 20 million. Now, the way to convert that into an HTML file, I decided rather than building out the HTML in an in-text workflow, what I could do is actually have like an HTML template and then simply plop in the information from the form or for the, from the SharePoint list item into that template and save it as a document. So the next thing I decided to do is create two document libraries. One, I've called the NF or Intext Forms HTML document templates. So I have a uh, file in here, which is just an HTML file. Now I'm gonna drag the file onto here and here you can see it's just an HTML file. There's a table in it. There's a few titles, uh, sorry, a few labels. And then I've got some tokens and I've done these, done these little a hash, exclamation mark, and then title, same thing with country, and the same thing with population. So these are going to be tokens that I would replace using the in-text workflow with the actual values from the item. So that goes into my document templates library. And the reason why I created a library is because I decide what if I want to have other templates or uh, what if I want to modify this template, I can simply modify it in here rather than uh, have to do some extra work. The next document library is where the actual HTML files are going to be located after I create them. So let's take a look at the workflow. So here is the workflow that runs uh, when you create an item uh, using the in-text form. The first action we have is a web request action. Now, if I open this up, I have a hard-coded URL to that particular template file. So we're actually getting that template and we're storing it in a text variable. You can see we're doing a get right here. The next three actions are regular expression actions that are configured to do a replace. So if we open up the first one, you'll actually see here's my text variable that has the template. This is the token we're going to replace and we're going to replace it with the current item property called title. And you can see we're doing the same thing for the country and let's just do the population one. You can see we're doing the same thing for population. And the final action is another web request action. This time, instead of doing a get, we're doing a put, <coughs> and we're putting it into our document library of HTML documents, and there's the body that we're putting into it. So in the example back here, where I've created a first test, and the country being United States, and the population being 420 million, you can see I ran the workflow, it completed. I jumped to my documents library, there's my first test.html, and this is what it looks like. So it's a very simple HTML file, but of course with HTML you can add CSS, JavaScript, all that sort of stuff to make it look really cool. But you can see with just a little bit of work, and this literally took me five minutes to do, you can convert your uh, Nintex form data into a nice HTML form. Hope this is helpful to you. I'll have the uh, the template HTML, the workflow and the form available in the download section of this blog post. Thanks for listening in.